All right, get ready to meet one of the ocean's most terrifying little monsters. I'm talking about the Irukandji jellyfish. Now, if you think jellyfish are just those harmless blobs you dodge at the beach, this one is about to blow your mind. Picture this, it's barely the size of a fingernail, nearly invisible in the water, but it packs a sting that's a hundred times more powerful than a cobra's bite. Seriously, this thing turns a dip in tropical Australian waters into a real-life game of don't touch anything. Here's the wild part. You probably won't even feel the sting right away, it creeps up on you. First, a tingle. Uh. Then, within minutes, you're hit with this insane combination of pain, nausea, and something called Irukandji syndrome. Imagine your body on fire, your muscles cramping, your heart racing, and this overwhelming sense of doom. Yeah, people have literally begged doctors to kill them just to escape the agony. And scientists only discovered these jellyfish in the 1960s. That means for decades swimmers had no clue what was causing these horrific symptoms. Today there's still no anti-venom. Hospitals can only treat the symptoms and hope your body holds out. So how do you avoid them? Honestly, it's tough. They're teeny tiny, see-through and love warm, shallow water. Right where most people swim. The best advice? Listen to local warnings, wear protective swim gear and if you think you've been stung, get out of the water and get help. Fast. Nature is awesome, but sometimes it's straight up scary. The Irukandji jellyfish proves that size means nothing in the ocean. It's all about the sting. Stay safe out there.